Hello, my name is Victor Eman, and welcome to the third part in the Dido tutorial series. The goal of this series is to give you a solid understanding of Dido and his workflow by taking you through the steps needed to texture an entire scene within minutes. Today, I'll be going over one of the most time-saving features of Dido, which fits right into both an artist's and a studio's pipeline. But what I'm talking about is a batch rendering. What you see here is a scene used as an example in the previous video. I felt I needed to retexture it to make it look more grimy and dirty. And after just one and a half hours, this is what it looks like. All I had to do was create a new preset and apply it to all of the assets in the scene using the batch rendering feature. Batch rendering allows for big changes in the art direction to happen the same day as it changed. In a studio, this would make it possible for several teams to share the same base presets, which ensures that the entire project will look consistent. While working on this preset, I came up with an idea that I really wanted to try out. So I quickly made a new preset and batch rendered all the textures for the entire scene. So as you can see, it's possible to make drastic changes to your scene super fast. And these presets can be created by, for example, the art director in your studio, or by the artist himself. And these presets are easily shareable between workstations. The presets can also be changed in order to further polish them later on. Alright, so let me show you a bit more in detail how you can go about using the batch rendering and how it can be implemented into your workflow. To get started with the batch rendering, simply go to the automation hub as usual and set up your project by choosing the preset you want to use and then specify the required maps and decide how to match the materials to the color map by choosing color. Once that has been set up, create a new project by clicking the plus icon to the upper left in the automation hub. If you shift click the plus icon, it will create a duplicated version of the currently selected project, which can be a big time saver seeing as the only thing you need to do next is to load the next set of base textures for the next asset. Once you have loaded the base textures, all you need to do is double check your settings and click bake and let Dido work its magic. I cut out most of the rendering time to keep you from getting bored. But the actual rendering time for all of the 11 textures with diffuse, specular, gloss, height and normal map was only about 20 minutes. And there we go, 11 freshly baked textures ready to be used in the engine of your choice. In a production environment, without the help of Dido, it will normally take me about 4 weeks to texture every asset included in this scene. With Dido it took me 20 minutes to create all textures for the entire scene. That's 55 texture maps done in less than a percent of the time it would take normally, speeding up my workflow about 500 times. And most of this time is just Dido doing its thing in the background, time I can spend on whipping up the design of my next asset. I really hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions or want to show off your stuff, feel free to visit our forums or send us a message. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.